We've all been there. Those tough conversations that leave us feeling frazzled. It might be a big argument or just someone's harsh words replaying in our heads. You might be watching this video because you're dealing with some kind of conflict, insult, or criticism right now. So how do you calm your nerves and improve your mental resilience after a tough interaction? One quick and effective way to calm down is to broaden your perspective. Think about how an outsider would see both sides of the argument. How would you and the other person appear to someone who isn't involved? From this detached view, how does the tension seem? Could seeing it this way change how you understand what's going on? But why is this technique helpful? When we're stuck in an argument or dealing with criticism or insults, we naturally see things from our own point of view. This makes sense because we're trying to protect ourselves and go into defensive mode. However, when we only see things from our own point of view, we become trapped in it. We can't see the whole picture and our judgment becomes very limited. We end up getting stuck in a me versus them mindset. The truth is, every argument or conflict has at least two sides. Each side is completely convinced they're right. Why? Because each side is only seeing the situation from their own perspective. When we watch other people in a conflict, we can often see the whole picture. We can feel empathy and understand both sides appreciating each person's needs and frustrations. But when we're part of the conflict, we usually don't allow ourselves to see that broader perspective. But it's worth trying. Trying this doesn't mean you have to give up your point of view. You're just expanding it. By stepping back and moving past the me versus them mindset, you open the door to understanding, compassion, and balanced judgment. Since both points of view are just parts of a single conflict, you can see the fairness and limits of each side. You might realize that being divided into two opposing camps is a bit silly. You may even see the issue as less critical than you first thought. So try to get a drawn view of the situation or imagine this scene is playing out in a movie or in someone else's life. What would happen then? How would you feel about it?